owner is afraid to enter her own home, and her dog walks all over her. I hope I can help. I told you last time in the last training session that if you cannot give this dog the training that he needs, and if it like it's too much for you, I would come and take him. Because it's not fair that, you know, you have a dog that he can't handle and you're not giving him what he needs. So I'm here today to take him. Say goodbye. I'm serious. I have plenty of people that want to adopt him. show you guys the progress we have made and then we're going to interview you and see what you have to say because I'm not hearing from you as much you know she was always very worried and contacting me every day because she didn't feel like she could handle him so now over time I, I can notice those those details that tell me you're becoming more confident because you're not so concerned and reaching out to me for every little thing you know um, so that shows progress and, and also I can physically and visibly see the the transformation so far. We're not finished yet, but this is huge progress. Let's go ahead and show everybody how he's doing. We cannot go ahead and walk that way with him in a swim field. And then just some obedience. A firm stop first and then a firm sit. Sit. And then same thing with a down. Yeah. And relax the pressure. Now mind you we have kids that he is not very good with and we have puppies playing next to him and we have a uh, basketball going on over here so there's a lot of dissimulation as you can see this is a high drive dog so you have to keep that in mind that what he says you know normal for his breed and, and his personality but he is responding well now why don't you go ahead and walk right by those dogs And then go to, yeah, and then it can go in whatever direction. I wanted to turn around and go back that way. So we have the basketball as a distraction. I know he is very ball driven. So he puts it to the test on holding him back because naturally he's gonna be wanting to go there. You know, and as a, a, an owner of this breed, you need to be able to handle them. You're gonna go all the way to the end and then come back by yourself. I'm really here pushing her through um, more difficult times because it's gonna make her easier for her. This is very, very difficult for him because he's a very high drive dog. So it's very important that she can handle him in this type of environment. Because if, if she can, she will be able to handle him just anywhere. This is her first time with this much distraction around. And as you can see, he is distracted and he would be doing this with pretty much anyone. So being that she is new to learning how to handle him, this is very good to show. She's redirecting him whenever he's trying to look away, which teaches him to pay more attention to her and ignore those distractions as much as possible, even though it's difficult for him. He used to lunge at other dogs and kids. Now we have a kid play yard over here and he is moving along with her. All right, very good, bring him back. Put him in a set. When you get a little bit closer here, come a little more. And then right there, sit, sit and stay. Don't let him lay down. Very good. So how is it being at home with uh, Prince the last few weeks? He's been very, very affectionate. He's been uh, sleeping with me. He's been uh, just super cute. Have you been taking him for walks? Yes, I have. How often? At least three times a day. Long have you noticed any difference like since he started giving him more exercise? Yeah, he's starting to listen to me now and uh, gets to respect me more. Um, 
Is he any calmer at home or no? Is he like a little calmer? A lot. A lot calmer? Because he's, he's getting his needs met. He, his needs are getting met, you know? He's fulfilled, so he's, he's going to be happier and more content. Um, ha, what, have you given him any other source of exercise? No, but your request, will get a treadmill. A treadmill? Because, you know, the reason he is even doing this right now is he's excited. There's a lot of distractions around him, so it's normal. But the way to combat that is by giving him more exercise. So his mind is occupied, his body is tired. He's not trying to get into as much, you know, activity whenever he goes out because he's content. He's got, a, he's got his exercise and he's good. Um, being that he is a high drive dog, he will be interested in when there's agitation, when it's ball, you know, games going around, all the dogs. He's going to want to be involved in that. It's part of the breed and part of his personality. And by you knowing that you can redirect, see how there's a slack on the leash? That's very good. That means he's controlling himself, you know. Um, he's not going to fall asleep when there's like a game going on around. He's going to be wanting to be involved. But what this is showing you is that he's having self-control. So he's not lunging, he's not barking, he's not going there. And even the whining is a lot less than before. Because he used to do this even more at home, and now we're out in a, a, a lot of distractions and a completely different environment. And, you know, he's pretty content for his age, breed, and his personality. Yes. And the fact that, you know, three weeks ago, he couldn't even walk into, you know, into your own home. Life change. So to end the session today, I want to have him interact with other dogs for the first time because we haven't done this before he's, he gets pretty excitable um, and uh, he's not used to meeting other dogs so you can tell he gets a little bit you know too excited hey so see like we want to teach him to to play calmly not throw his his whole body on them like, so we do a little pull back just to teach him to to hold himself back a little bit good boy baby steps you know because this is something new he's not used to it and um if you just let him go and throw himself onto other dogs it's going to be confrontation happening and it's going to be starting fights and he's going to have a bad experience and then leads to him not liking other dogs which clearly he doesn't have a problem with them now it's just that he doesn't know how to meet them and, and interact with them calmly good boy so just having him around here is really good okay i'll see you guys uh, next week for another training session. Keep practicing at home.